Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show. Wake up to love your call to action. Join Cornelia as she empowers others to live heaven on earth. Cornelia teaches listeners how to be the authority over yourself, embracing your inner guru. Feel yourself uplifted into limitless expansion, integrating ease and grace in a changing world. This show will cover topics such as unconditional love, your physical body, how to be in extraordinary relationships, create financial and emotional wealth, embracing entrepreneurship in the new earth. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. I'm so excited to be with you all today. It's Friday the 13th, and it is your lucky day. It's your lucky day all the way around. Not only because we're at this most sacred, most amazing time on the planet, but I've got an amazing special guest for you today. Just a few moments ago, before I um, got got signed on to um, Skype so that we can do this recording. I, I wanted to go on Facebook and promote this call uh, one more time. And I saw that my guest today wrote this on her Facebook post. And this is what she said. Do you remember when I was living that Dateline episode in Austin? Some of you told me to write a book, Ready for Ignition. Thank you, Cornelia Stephanie, for the opportunity to share my transformation. Hoping by me sharing, I will be able to help at least one person. It's not about the trauma. It's what you do with it. You're not your story that happened to you. You create your own comeback story. And this is exactly what living heaven on earth is all about. We create our own realities and we create our own comeback story. We let the old part of ourselves that's no longer in alignment with the truth of our being fall away so that we can step into the truth of who we are. And the truth of who we are is magnificent, radiant, amazing, powerful creators. So that's why I want to introduce you to my guest today, and I want to tell you a little bit about her. Brooke has inspired and empowered thousands of clients, instructors, healthcare providers, and patients worldwide throughout her 25 years of healthcare and fitness industry experience. She began her journey in Western medicine as a pharmaceutical sales representative for Procter & Gamble. After suffering a debilitating back back injury, she prevented surgery by using acupuncture and yoga. This inspired Brooke to study in Asia, Asia, and she became a Chinese medicine doctor and yoga teacher. She's in the process right now of receiving her doctorate degree in December. A painful, shocking divorce led Brooke to an awakening. Her decision to choose vibrant living over fear during this time produced profound healing and transformation. From these learnings, Brooke developed the Health Fountain Institute, TM, a world leader in vitality and life enhancement education to help people live a vibrant life. Brooke has traveled the world presenting classes nationally and internationally at conventions, trainings, and seminars. She served as a national fitness trainer presenter for the world leader in group fitness in Les Mills International, New Zealand. She has presented AccuFit Meridian Yoga TM workshops at yoga studios, conventions at the Sedona Yoga Festival. She currently serves on the board of directors for the Hawaii Acupuncture Association and has a private practice in Kapa, Hawaii. She lives there with her golden retriever, retriever, Aruba, happily thriving in Kauai. By integrating evidence-based integrated medicine, she can help you succeed and reach your health care goals. Everything happens for the first time on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. Please help me welcome today my very special guest, Dr. Brooke Foreman to the show. Welcome to the show, Brooke. Thank you. Aloha, Cornelia. It's a pleasure. 
Yay. And I wanted to introduce you today as Dr. Brooke. <laughs> it's because coming. It's coming. It's just right around the corner and might as well receive your first congratulations here and being announced as Dr. Brooke. And that's, that's a job well done. Uh, following a passion that you're so passionate about and, and how you're helping people. Thanks. So, and it's been, it's been quite a journey, hasn't it? It sure has. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us about that date full time in Austin, Texas. Well, um, I was living um, a beautiful life is what I thought in Austin, Texas. I had a thriving business, um, and I had an amazing husband, and I thought my life was perfect. I had houses, cars, boats, uh, you know, travel. Um, I thought everything was perfect, and then all of a sudden, it wasn't. And um, you know, there's some traumatic events uh, and and surprises and secrets that were revealed. And uh, you know, at that point, I've realized I was kind of in the middle of a Dateline episode and um, that I just woke up and I, everything that I thought was reality isn't anymore. And, you know, there's a couple different ways that you can deal with that. You can either, you know, be a victim to your story mm -hmm. and, um, you know, just continue to tell your story in order to receive pity and attention. Um, or you can do what I did, which is, you know, dig down and recreate your life and uh, figure out what you're really here to do and um, transform that trauma into an amazing comeback. And that's, that's part of the reason why I met you. And um, I feel like this is an important story that is almost like a hero's journey, like, uh, you know, Bilbo Baggins, um, the reluctant hobbit who didn't want to take the ring. And, um, you know, just like most of us, I just wanted to take, you know, uh, enjoy my life and, and um, not have any bumps. And um, that's just not how it rolled out for me. I was handed the ring. And um, at the time, I, I was terrified. I had anxiety. Um, I, I was, you know, absolutely adrenal fatigued. Um, crippled by fear and the once super confident person uh, became a recluse. I didn't want to come out. I didn't want to be seen. And it was a, it was, it's been a process coming out. And um, part of what, you know, we're talking about today is this transformation and the, what I use to cope with that was a bunch of different healings. And um, one of them was travel. I just said, I got to get out of Austin. And um, I said, screw it. And I sold all my belongings. And um, I had a dream about Kauai, um, hmm. specifically about that Hindu temple that you and I have been to, right? Yeah. Powerful. And um, it, it just, wouldn't stop talking to me. And so I was like, okay, universe, I'm going to try it. So I sold all of the, the, my life in Austin, a 4,000 square foot house, boat houses, boats, cars, and without a job, my dog Aruba and I just landed on Kauai and started from there. And I just thought, let's try this. Mm -hmm. And so this all happened from a dream? It did, yeah. I knew I wasn't going to be staying in Austin because um, there was too much um, trauma around for me. And I, you know, I had lots of counseling during that time. And it was the recommendation of my counselor to, you know, get away. Mm -hmm. and, um, and even if it's for a short amount of time, um, because separating yourself from the wreckage um, really gave me a new perspective. I think a lot of us hang around in our wreckage, go back to it, look at it over and over again, and continue to analyze it. And um, it, it didn't help me. Um, and with that, since I'm a science-based person, I was doing a lot of research on fear. 
I read a book by um, Dr. Lisa Rankin. Oh, yeah. You, I know. You, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that led me into the research of fear. And I thought, wow, that totally aligns with meridians in Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. And what started to happen is people started to come see me for acupuncture and the physical manifestations were kind of what were coming up from whatever was going on in the mind. And so this is the beauty of, you know, the transformation is out of all that pain, I started to see within myself that I could be healed. Yeah. And I, you know, we're all special. We're all here to show a gift. And my, my portal was acupuncture and yoga. Yeah. And, and, and those are, those are amazing. Those are amazing healing techniques. Uh, you know, we can, we can do our yoga, we can practice our yoga and the, uh, acupuncture and acupressure. You're going to um, share a little bit more with us later about your studies and all of that. We're going to take a, a quick break. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie show. I'm with Dr. Brooke Foreman on the Cornelia Stephanie show, living heaven on earth. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Janet Hickox, and I want to tell you a little story about a story and how my friend Cornelia Stephanie helped me through to the other end of that story. I have gone from the dark of a story I was telling myself that wasn't true to the light of optimism to see my way out of where I was and to where I want to go. And it all started with uh, her scheduling a session for me to help me reclaim my money or my financial empowerment. Up until that point, I had been telling the story that my business was dying, that my business was not successful anymore. And the more I tried to figure out what was going on, the worse I felt about it. And when I had to get ready to do the session with Cornelia, she asked me to go look at the numbers and where I was uh, through the year to date, and then also to come prepared with a number that I wanted to uh, raise my income to. Well, I was quite comfortable with that part, right? I knew where I wanted to be. Uh, what I wasn't comfortable with doing is going and looking up those numbers, but I made myself do it, even though I tried to backpedal my way out of the session. Um, she didn't know that, but I was going to try to get myself out of the session. And I looked up those numbers and it was incredible that I discovered through that process that my business wasn't dying. In fact, I was doing 12% better than I had the year before. So I was shocked. I was shocked literally at the power of the story that I had been telling for months. But more than that, I was shocked that I had allowed myself to get there. And uh, later in that day when I had my session with Cornelia, she pointed out some very obvious things like, how are you going to get where you want to go if you don't know where you want to go? How are you going to get there if you don't have the goals written out, if you don't have it uh, set up so that you know where you are and where you're going to go? Totally makes sense, right? If I, and I had been in business, uh, somebody else's business as a sales manager for years, and I, I was a national sales manager. I had awards for sales management. I had business awards because of numbers. And yet when it came to doing my own business, I totally forgot all that I'd ever learned. So by the time Cornelia working with me in just one session, got me to look deeper at the numbers and where did I want to go and actually, you know, claiming where I wanted to go. Um, I was filled with a sense of optimism and hope. Like you can't believe it was like, everything shifted for me. And I am so looking forward to our continued sessions to see how far I can really push myself to get where, I, where I've only dreamed of being, where I've never taken the dream and actually brought it into concrete existence. So thank you, Cornelia, for the work that you're doing out there. I appreciate it. And I can't wait to see where I go from here. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, and I'm with Brooke Foreman. And Brooke is talking to us today about a painful time in her life that 
um, brought on a lot of healing and transformation and uh, a whole new life, a whole new beginning for her. So, Brooke, tell us about uh, when you were still in Texas and about some of the trauma that that you were actually experiencing. Like you were, you had everything. You had the most amazing husband, and you had you had all kinds of material possessions, and life was great. And then all of a sudden, uh, it all started unraveling, which you call part of your awakening. It's true. Um- and this is always something that is so hard for me to talk about because um, it involves a lot of shame. And, um, you know, I was really inspired by Brene Brown's books on bravery and courage and, um, you know, kind of shedding light on that shame. Um, I, what I encountered in Austin was a relationship with a sociopath and um, or what other people have um, called a sociopath. And, um, at the time I had no idea because I thought, uh, my husband is the greatest guy in the world. And, and he was, he was, um, until, um, all of the secrets began to be revealed to me, um, that my life actually, uh, was only a lie. It was a, it was a mirage. None of it was true. Uh, the marriage, the, possessions, the the life that I had projected out in the future, all of it was um, a lie. And um, I was being manipulated. And um, the sad thing is a lot of my close family and friends could see what was happening, but they couldn't get to me because I was so entrained by the sociopath. And um, this is what happens. Um, There's a lot of really strong people out there that are empathic. And um, when they want to help someone else, uh, this can be uh, a trap. And, um, you know, as I was reading the the women who run with wolves, I encountered this specific story that reminded me of my story about the feral woman, the wild feminine, who is wild and um, free and creative and expressive. And, um, you know, gets trapped uh, by something sparkly or delicious or whatever. Um, and it, it becomes an entrainment, a training, a captivity. And um, I think a lot of us have been in that, whether it's, um, you know, a relationship or um, addictive behaviors or uh, um, anything else. And, uh, and then when we finally break free, um, it's painful to finally stand up for yourself and break free. Um, And when you do return to the wild, then you're so wild that you you ensnare yourself in other traps that are, um, because now you've become a little bit more of a prey. And so this is something that I had to watch when I first um, was going through the divorce is, you know, protecting myself from future, you know, entrapments. And um, that's when the work started to happen. Um, I first and foremost uh, separated myself from the trauma, which I think is the most important thing. And also it was the most painful for me because the last thing that somebody wants is to separate from their person that's, that's sick and hurting. But that was part of what had to happen in order for me to break the entrainment and and escape, quite honestly. And all those nights were filled with fear uh, for my life. I was scared. Um, My friends and family were trying to reassure me, trying to protect me, and they did. And, you know, could it be the perception in my mind? Yes, it it most certainly could have been. because I have made it through and everything's fine now, uh, but it's now three years and I'm still, you know, making sure and being cautious about my path of snares and traps. Mm-hmm. And so in that way, I am again that wild feminine. I am that feral woman. And um, I no longer have shame about talking about my encounter with a sociopath because in fact, there's like 
40 or 60 percent of CEOs of companies are sociopaths. They might be your mother, they might be your family member, they might be your lover. And um, the one thing that they do well is they quiet you and they shame you and they gaslight you so that they make you feel like you're crazy. Wow. Yeah. They quiet you, they shame you, and they gaslight you. One of my questions I just had is what does a sociopath do? What, what do they do? Well, there's some interesting stuff. Um, I had no idea. Um, I just hmm. you know, thought that my husband was a liar and a cheat. Um, and I remember vividly my attorney um, saying, hmm, you know, you may want to read this book. And then she slid across the desk, The Sociopath Next Door. And I thought, all right, it was a little book. And I'm like, I'll read it. Okay, fine. So I read the book. And sadly, like, one by one, as the pages turned, I was like, wow, what have I gotten myself into? And how do I get out now? Mm -hmm. And the first step was actually realizing it because a sociopath is actually somebody that, you know, I didn't even know what the term was. Right. Uh, I thought it was just, you know, some derogatory term that we use on people, but it's an actual clinical term in psychology that, um, you know, they, they don't have um, a conscience. And so they're able to easily lie um, and manipulate so that they can get what they need and what they want, which is you continuing to feed them. Mm. Um, and I was in, I was hook, line and sinker, thought he was the greatest thing ever. How long were you married? Uh, six years. Six years. And so this didn't start revealing itself until how many years into the marriage? Cause well, the sixth year, the sixth year, the sixth year is when it really started uncovering. Yeah. Yeah. I I'll just say that I had a traumatic event that, um, you know, all of a sudden opened my eyes to everything that was happening around me all at one time. And it was shock. It was awe. And, um, you know, at first I was stunned and didn't know what to do. And so, um, this is what part of my healing was, is I went to my best friend who is also an acupuncturist, Dr. Mac Burke, and, uh, he worked on me. Um, and, I also had several other acupuncturists working on me, but it was mostly for emotions. Mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. And once we started releasing the fear, um, I started doing prescriptive poses of yoga that started to release and let that fear go. And that's when I started sleeping through the night and not having anxiety and terror and worry. And consequently, during that time, my doctor took some blood work and all of my blood work was, you know, like high normal, like high triglycerides, high A1C, high cortisol levels. And I knew as a doctor that I had to change something at that, you know, even if I'm exercising and eating the right things, this emotional stuff is absolutely affecting my health and I had to make a change. And, you know, and that's such a huge piece, being in your emotional wellness, being in your emotional health is part of the work that I teach. And it's a key component to navigating, um, you know, these emotional times that we're in so that we can manifest and create a life that is based on uh, health and wellness and wholeness rather than chaos and trauma and abuse and addiction and fear. Right. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. So my goodness, I mean, that must have been, so did you strategize uh, with people in your community at that time? Because when you started changing then, um, did you strategize letting your husband know that you're going to be out of there? Or, uh, you know, how, how, how did you, how did you leave? I'm curious. How did, how did? Well, I feel like the universe was leading me in a very interesting way because it was the weekend that the all of the trauma was revealed to me um the next weekend i was supposed to go and present acufit meridian yoga to the sedona yoga festival in sedona arizona huh. and i thought oh i can't do it i'm destroyed i'm just i can't do it and um you know my best 
girlfriend and yogi, Malia Scott, she said, you know what? You got to do it. You've got to get out there. This is what your program's all about. You're living your program now. And I hadn't even told anyone at this point other than her. Um, and I got out there and I presented that AccuFit Meridian Yoga to, you know, people that I never even thought would show up, doctors, nurses, uh, yoga therapists, and shared my story for the first time in a small group. We all cried. And then we went on to release it with the, um, with the yoga, which I realized at that point that this is something that really could help people. But to answer your question, during that time is when I was away. Sedona is such an amazing vortex of healing. And so I, I went and had a healing with my own teacher, Barbara Matsura, who um, taught me Reiki level one in Japan. And she happened to move to Sedona. So I went and had a healing with her um, and released a lot of that anger and fear mm -hmm. and moved into gratitude. Wow. Yeah. So then you, you, you present it. You were able to present. And of course, you know, um, before you went to Sedona, you were filled with shame. You were filled with suppression because that's part of the energy in the, emo in the body, in the physical body, where there's the emotions are suppressed. When they're suppressed in the organs, which is why uh, your work is so powerful, because you teach people how to release it through acupressure, right? And also yoga. That's, that's your own uh, signature series that you developed. And um, so now here you are. You're releasing during this presentation and people are experiencing it with you so then you go back home and then then what happens well after while i was there and going through i i went to all the different vortexes i meditated i cried and it was during that time that i became really clear it was quiet still and clear crystal clear that my my strategy was out get out and so i did I just went home and I simply left my husband. I just, wow. a few of my belongings and my dog and left. And honestly, I never saw him again because I dis dismantled my uh, house and uh, sold everything off and put it in a storage unit and, and just walked away. And, and in that way, it was, very metaphorical of walking away, letting go, because I'm the type of person that's all in, keep on working at it, you know, fix it at, you know, at your own expense. And um, so that's what I did. I just simply changed. I just got real clear all of a sudden, and I could no longer deny that I needed to go. And I couldn't not hear the voice in my head saying, you are going away from here. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go and interview in a couple different places. I interviewed in Florida, um, all over Texas, California, got a bunch of job offers. And I thought, okay, this is it. I'm closer to my family. I can, you know, start a new life and, and move on. But that night um, that I was about to say yes to Sanibel uh, acupuncture and wellness, um, I told the guy all but yes. And then I um, woke up after dreaming about Kauai the whole night, I said, I'm moving to Kauai. And then the strategy began. I just started putting everything together, selling things off, shipping my car, um, and arrived with no job. What a fantastic story. You arrived in Kauai with no job, beginning to create your own version of paradise. After you honored the feminine in you, after you're, you honored your heart, even though that was such a courageous move on your part to take yourself out of it. But, you know, I see this so much that if you don't honor yourself first, nobody else can mm -hmm. honor you above you, right? You have to be the first. So true. Right. So now, now we're skipping the break because I'm, I'm, I just want to continue on with this discussion. Um, so now you're in Kauai and tell us about, Tell us about what happened next. Well, Kauai, um, I didn't realize at the time. I had only visited it one time, um, and it was just with girlfriends, um, just 
as a tourist. So I didn't really um, know about the healing powers of Mama Kauai as I do now. Um, and that she also is a vortex and um, people come here to heal. She's seen as a female energy. And I didn't know any of these things when I arrived. So um, I started uh, by just doing what I always do, just getting started, putting one foot in front of the other and just creating joy in my life. Um, I pushed away the fear and added gratitude in my life every day with meditation, um, with walks on the beach. And um, I began to meet friends as I was going through the healings. Mm. And I met um, Charlotte Scott Russell, who gave me amazing healings to um, release what was going on with me. I had awesome massage therapists that I came in contact with. And it was just an amazing group of powerful women here mm. uh, that just really wanted to lift each other up. And in fact, that's how I met you. Yeah. Was a group of people coming together that were all lifting each other up. And it, it's such an amazing community. I couldn't ask for a better forest gumping situation. That's what I call it. How I somehow arrive in an amazing situation. And here I am. Uh, yeah. I, I want to tell people how they can find you on, I want to tell people how they can find you on Facebook. Would you tell us how they can find you on Facebook? Sure. Um, you can find me Brooke Bextine Foreman on uh, Facebook. And I also have AccuFit Meridian Yoga and my institute that I've put together that um, is in encompassing. It's like the big circus tent for all of these things is called Health Fountain Institute. Yeah. And I love that. And what is that? Is that your, is that under your website, brookforeman.com? Can yes. people find it under that as well? Under brookforeman.com. Is that right? Yeah. 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 And you know, when I met you, this was just a few months ago. Um, it was such an incredible night because we were celebrating someone's birthday and there you were, you know, you have this amazing presence about you that people just um, immediately start feeling good <laughs> around you. It's just because you have that energy that you bring. It's, it's this amazing presence, an angelic presence. Not only do you look like that, but really that's really coming from your heart. And um, you, were, you were sitting at the table giving everyone readings with their pulse, um, which, you know, caught my attention and I'm like, well, I want one of those. And so, and then that's how you and I, I started. And I, um, I was so impressed with just how you had captured everyone's, um, energy with your energy and how beautiful, uh, your medicine is that, um, I wanted to bring you on the radio show and tell everybody about it because that's what, what it is, you keep talking about, you know, how we lift each other up and somebody's going to hear this story today and that's going to be exactly what it is they need to hear to um, have the courage that they need in order to make the change and say yes to the beautiful inside of who they really are, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It was a very fun night. Um, this is what happens to me a lot. Um, you know, I, I arrive somewhere and you know get to talking someone hears I'm an acupuncturist and um you know then questions come across the table like and then I'm like stick out your tongue let me feel your pulse and so it you know probably from looking at it from afar it looks like fortune telling and you know <laughs> go, how did you know that about me and uh it's it's nothing nothing but a big secret here this is this is Chinese medicine and you hold all of those um, symbols and messages, and you also hold the key or the ring, shall we say, of your own healing. And you know, I'm just the trail guide that brings you back to that. And that's so what at the table. And we just had a blast that night going, wow, I'm just reflecting back to you what's going on with you and how you. Yeah. And I love, um, you know, how you're saying you're the, you're the trail ga guide that leads people back into themselves. When you were, when you were measuring my pulse, you were telling me that, wow, you know, this is really balanced that if I, if all your clients weren't like that, then you probably wouldn't have any work or something like that. You said to me, um, and part of the reason why that's like that is because emotionally 
that's where my authority lies and where my expertise lies. And um, having an emotional body that is healed and whole and knowing how to process my emotions. So if, if people want to, uh, they, can, they can go to my website at CorneliaStephanie.com and they can get a free emotional processing technique that's on the left-hand corner there on the bottom that talks about emotional processing. But you also have a free assessment for people that we want to tell uh, them about. And I haven't taken it myself, but I can't wait to do it because tell us about it right now, about the, the, the assessment that you were telling me about this morning. Well, it's kind of inspired from our little um, birthday dinner that we were having because you know, everybody wants to know what's going on, you know, and have, you know, they're so fun to do those little tests and quizzes. So I put together a meridian mood test. And so with the meridian mood, it doesn't mean, you know, anything like, um, you know, that your liver is, you know, something wrong with it or anything. It's just a mood that you're in. And that's when you come to a Chinese medicine doctor like me, um, we check what's going on right now, not who your old stories were that you're telling yourself, but who you are presenting as right now. So when you go on the test, um, it's a little fun um, assessment and it has pictures and things like that. And then at the end, you're going to learn what meridian mood you're in and um, your highest and balanced state, um, the attributes for that. And also maybe your highest hours of productivity. Um, and especially during this time of change. And yesterday we had an eclipse. Today we have an amazing day, Friday the 13th. Um, you know, there's there's some cool stuff happening out there. And um, once you figure out kind of what Meridian is going off or drawing your attention, then maybe you would like to learn more about that. And um, I'm providing some private Skype sessions for tongue diagnosis and then we can kind of get you a prescription of yoga poses for what's going on with you which is kind of cool you know to have your own little set and homework to do that is and so basically what you're saying is that you can facilitate this with people all over the globe and that they don't have to be in Kauai in order to see oh, you right, right? so some and uh, and we are working on retreats for that but but um yeah just to to feel like, hey, look, I, I kind of want to know about that. I want to do some own, my own self-care. Right. Um, I can do it in my own living room or my special place. And, um, you know, it, it, it's very personal personalized medicine, which anyone can do themselves. Wonderful. Brooke, tell us how to, how do we take the test? How do we take the mood test? And then tell everyone how they can get Skype sessions with you so that they can get started on their wellness immediately. Yeah. Well, um, all they have to do is go to my website, which is brookforman.com. And that's Brooke with an E for excellent. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, foreman like George Foreman, the grill, um, oh. me and George came up with that idea. And I, I said, you know, you go with it, George. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So, uh, yeah, brookforeman.com, um, on the front page is going to be, um, what's your meridian mood. And you can click on that and go straight to it. Uh, at the end of that, you'll be able to, um, see what your meridian mood is and then be offered, um, the Skype sessions there, or you can just book online. Um, I have online booking right there, or I can do a consultation with you. It's pretty good. Um, I talk to people all, all over the world. So it, it's pretty fantastic tribe out there. Yeah. And so I love that you put this uh, mood test together because it's a wonderful way for people to uh, sample and get to know, um, you know, where they're at and then uh, opening the door to um, receive a uh, healing with you. So tell us again about where they can find you at brookforeman.com. And is there an email address that people can contact you? Sure. Um, yeah, brookforeman.com is the easiest way to get to me. And um, But I'm also an easy email to remember, trainerbrook at yahoo.com. Trainerbrook at yahoo. Sure. So, um, you know, throughout the, throughout the years, I've been a lot of people's trainers. And um, it's something that I feel like, the universe has put me in place to do is um, not to be the superstar, but all 
to be the trail guide, to be the trainer of uh, lifting other people up and, and letting them see their true potential. That's what's so beautiful about this medicine and also meeting you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Brooke. It's so amazing to talk to you. Thank you so much for sharing your story. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with more Brooke Foreman. Hello, my name is Charlene Hess, and I want to share with you my wonderful experience of choosing to use Cornelia Stephanie as my life coach. My life is so different now from where it was when I began working with her in 2011. At that time, I was in a dysfunctional marriage. I had my own business. I was raising two children and completely dead inside. After working with Cornelia, I began to gain confidence. I began to learn and understand how to use my emotions in my life. I learned how to process the emotions that were stored in my body, the ones that I thought that I had already worked through in my 12 years of counseling prior to working with her. The process that she had taken me through of using my emotions to heal my life, to use my anger to find peace was absolutely incredible. I have been working with her one-on-one uh, -on -one for many years now. And even though I am in a place now where I am thriving in my life, I still refer to Cornelia as my coach and I still work with her on an ongoing basis where we're always checking in and keeping me accountable in my growth. After working with her for many years, I decided to go through her wholeness certification coach, uh, coaching program, and it has absolutely been an amazing process. I now am a certified empowerment coach and I got certified through her program and I am taking clients and helping them to find the empowerment in their lives. One of the things that I love about Cornelia is that she taught me that I am the authority in my own life. And that was a really difficult experience to go through because it was really fighting against all of the dogma and programming that was so ingrained in my brain that all of the authority is outside of me. But as I began to understand and believe and adopt and know the truth that I am the authority in my life is when everything in my life started to shift and change. I became responsible for my decisions. I became responsible for creating a life that I love. And now I'm here in this amazing, beautiful place, living a life of so much happiness and joy. And no matter what life throws at me, I have the tools to be able to approach everything from a place of empowerment. And now I have the ability to help other people do the same. So working with Cornelia has absolutely been the best decision that I've ever made in my life. It has taken me from a life of absolute misery and given me the tools to be able to have a life of absolute complete joy. So I cannot recommend working with her enough. I hope that you decide to choose to have her as your coach Go through her empowerment coaching program, go through her wholeness certification, and I guarantee you won't regret it. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, and I'm with Chinese medicine doctor, Brooke Foreman, and we're wrapping up the show today, um, sharing with you how one woman transformed her life and moved uh moved and created her own version of paradise after she experienced a traumatic awakening, a lot of abuse, and was, um, was deeply affected at a core level about feeling stuck in her life and how she transformed it all. And now she lives in Kauai and she's doing so many wonderful things. Thank you so much, Brooke, for being here today. Tell us now about what it is that you're really excited about uh, moving forward. Sure. Um you know, in some ways, I, I've kind of um, channeled Elizabeth Gilbert with, um, you know, Eat, Pray, Love. I feel like part of what's happened with me is um, travel. Um, I love traveling. I feel like I had never traveled alone before my divorce. And after the divorce, I, I was conquering fear. I was almost like looking for fear so that I could conquer it. Huh. It was a, like, you know, an empowering, powerful feeling, right? But um, so that's what I did is I started doing, um, you know, travel. And so I want to be able to offer that for other women out there um, that may not feel super comfortable traveling all by themselves, but having something to come to or to travel with um, in a retreat sense um, where, you know, they're on their own path of healing and recovery. 
um, no matter what that is. And then they can partake in um, the healing that we are offering if they want, or just go and just have a safe group to be associated with when they're traveling in the future. Um, I'm looking at Bali, I'm looking at Singapore and Australia. Um, I'm coming up on Australia, Melbourne, Australia, and New Zealand coming up here soon. And uh, we've got trips planned in uh, Key West, Fort Lauderdale, Miami area, um, Dallas, Texas. So um, if you wanna be part of you know, what we're doing here, um, I'd say my passion and what I'm really excited about is you know, really giving people the sense that they can be in control of their own lives. Um, there's so much talk about uh, an anti-inflammatory lifestyle and that's what I'm, I'm putting forward to people. Um, in the program that I'm putting together, which is called AIM Life, AIM Life, um, AIM, which is anti-inflammatory meridian base life. Um, you know, you, you figure out the types of foods that are good medicine for you to reduce inflammation, the type of exercise that you do, um, the meditations, um, you know, the, the type of healing that you do, acupuncture, massage, self-care, all of that is part of uh, that program. And so we're going to be bringing that out uh, to the mainland and out to Asia for sure. So if you want to be part of that, you know, um, we're doing some of those day retreats and I'm going to be doing an online virtual retreat so that people, if they can't feel like they can travel or escape um, at this time, no worries. Uh, they can watch privately and, um, you know, begin their own strategy to um, construct their own vibrant life. And Brooke, when, whenever you're rolling this out, uh, when you're doing your online, when you're doing the online invitation, um, please let me know because I want to let the listeners know so that they can sign up when you have that link because I want to promote that. And I'm going to do it myself. I want to be a part of that too. Um, I know that you and I, we've got a lot of things that we've got going in the future that we're going to be doing together. I want to travel with you and do things with you. And uh, who knows what you and I are going to do. But one thing that I'm going to do for sure is I want to come and take your yoga training, your yoga certification training that you're looking at rolling out late, late this year, possibly next year also. So um, people, people have that to look forward to because you've developed your own signature line of how you healed yourself um, with Chinese medicine and you've taken it and gotten a doctorate in uh, what it is that you absolutely are passionate about and now um, teaching people how to live in wellness. And that's so, so admirable because you're, you're just saying, if you can just help one person, well, you're helping uh, so many people because it's going to ripple out in a huge way. Yeah. So I want to thank you so much. Let's tell everybody again where they can find you. Let's tell all the uh, emails, everything. Sure. Um, well, first of all, you mentioned the AccuFit Meridian Yoga class. And yes. we are going to do a little um, a yoga certification in that. And um, it's more of um, a long weekend kind of certification, not a 200-hour you know, registered yoga situation. Because I think... Sometimes that scares people away, um, having to do hundreds and hundreds of hours and hundreds of dollars. So I want to get it to the people, teach them the basics of what they need to know to heal themselves with this yoga and get them out doing it. Um, the second level is more of the practitioner level where you learn to diagnose and then you prescribe different asana poses for different meridian systems. And that's that's what we're really working on is two different kinds of programs for that AccuFit Meridian Yoga. So you can find that on Facebook or um, at the brookforeman.com. And uh, Health Fountain uh, Institute is the, the circus tent that holds all of these products and things. Um, and if you go to healthfountaininstitute.com, it'll bring you to that site as well on brookforeman.com. So um, yeah. The, the email is trainerbrook at yahoo, and I'd be glad to uh, help train you um, because it's almost like personal training for your brain. Um, your brain and your body uh, in Chinese medicine is called shen. So I, I call myself a shen trainer. A shen trainer. 
Yeah, that's amazing. And you're an excellent trainer. So I look so forward to seeing all of the wonderful things that you're that you're bringing out. And uh, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. I know that your friends and your family right now that are watching you and listening to your story are so proud of how far you've come and what you've overcome. It took a lot of courage to come on public radio to share your story about a life that you once lived and that you once loved and how you had to let that go because it wasn't serving you any longer to be more true to who it is that that was emerging from you, right? So I know that everybody's cheering you on, Brooke, and uh, you're amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Would you tell um, us in three short words, uh, leave us with your magic? Mm, three short words. Three words, six words, nine words. Uh, integrated health for a vibrant life. Integrated health for a vibrant life. BrookeForeman.com. Thank you so much. You're listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show. We'll see you again next time. Namaste.